get. Are we recording all around? Yeah, we're good on. Yeah, we're good. Everywhere. Diego's in the hot seat today. Yep. Is your camera on? Yeah, it's on. Welcome. How do you feel? I'm a little nervous. Are you standing a little taller? I should, though. Did your dick grow three inches? <laughs> I took some pills, so yeah, it did. Yeah. Oh, my God. You took the he's blue sitting, rhino pills. He's sitting, sitting a little higher today. Well, he said, well, usually when Vinny sits down. That's a lot of power down. for a young man. <laughs> <laughs> What kind of torque does it have behind that seat? <laughs> I go. Let's talk, let's talk about it. Come on over here, son. What was the famous thing? You know what legs on a uh, legs on a wine glass? Well, I'm actually, be surprised, son. Why don't you hop up here? Hop up here. I, I want to. Teaching my, I was teaching my boyfriend about um, the legs on wine. Oh and how, my god! How to, how to taste the notes? How to taste the notes? I have some very big medical news. Okay, she texted us yesterday. I got a Trish called in a tizzy. Mm. Now, okay, I'm just calling it right, and I'm going on record, Man Mafia. Please attention. This is an, this is an official announcement. This, this is, is life. This is an emergency press conference. I swear to God, he one up to me. He's tried to one up with me in the apartment. He knew I was. He knew I was getting a new apartment, and he got. He, he went through a, a breakup and had to get a new apartment <laughs> the same month I'm moving. Now, if you have, now you said you have some medical news. If you have, if you one up to me, if you have spinal bifida, Joey, I don't have that. Let me get. Let me get cystic a cystic fibrosis. This is going to be a clean. This is going to be a nice clean intro for this. I have some medical news. You are currently looking at. You're can I guess? Can I guess I first? Can't, no, I can't even look at you because you're going to well, die. I can't guess first before I... I Is it going to be fucked up and are we going to have to bleep it? No, once I know... I can't turn around. I can't, I can't turn it back. Okay. Is, it's it, the, is, it, is it cystic fibrosis? No, let me just give you a hint. Now, this voice here. Now, my something is low. Okay? Testosterone? No. Let me just say it. Okay. You are currently looking at the newest member of the pre-diabetic club... Trish, pre-diabetic, high cholesterol, with no vitamin D. So you're low D? I have pre-diabetes, Joe! Are you sure you have it? I am positive. You can't have pre-diabetes. That's a terrible reaction. You're supposed to laugh at that. Well, I'm annoyed because I'm not, there's no, just uh, fat people get that. I know. And I, I, Wait, I'm, laugh I'm at not it even pre-diabetic. Laugh at it just for the clip. <laughs> 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 you can't even get full diabetes, you broke bitch. <laughs> pre-diabetes. I'm diabetic. I'm changing all my social handles to pre-diabetic Pat. We have to get her now. We have need, we need a sugar freaky birthday cake. <laughs> she can't have sugars. I just no. The second she said that, she told me that in the thing. I f I laughed out loud. She goes, "Why are you laughing?" I go, "I'm sorry, darling. My sugars are low." Joey, I have pre-diabetes. You have low vitamin D, but. High, low vitamin D, high cholesterol, and pre-diabetes. How, how, can I see your numbers? Where's, where's your, where's your now paper? I want to talk to you about my A1C. Okay, because I went. Now Do I'm, you have it? I have A1C. Do you have to take medicine? No, I'm on the I'm on the precipice. So, little medical history for you guys. Your a, now a healthy A1C is below five point seven. Anywhere between five point seven and six point eight, you get pre-diabetes. Anything above six point eight, you get type two diabetes, which only exists in the United States. It's a consumption issue. It's not genetic. It basically means you eat like shit, which I don't do. Which is now you I thought, don't. I thought the numbers were faulty, it's and I still have some fucking. It's the alcohol. But I only drink one day a week. So I mean, what granted, is it? You're, like you're, a you're, you're skinny. You're skinny. Your BMI. You're not overweight by any means. I exercise. Yeah. So I don't know. So 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 what is it? What does it do to? It do, basically it means I have to like go on the drugs. Oh, oh I'm glad you asked. <laughs> now she's taking her, uh, her fiber intake. Now, if you want to go ahead and this, this is my cheat sheet. That's for Trisha's pre-diabetes. This is what there's a there is a salad here. Read what the top says. With grapes. What's the top say? Mediterranean diet. <laughs> I fucking knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. Something was gonna was gonna try to one up me somehow. I invented the Mediterranean diet. They now she has me, a sheet. They want me on it. You know, we're starting our own very own meal plan. I am. This is what I'm saying. Now, do you have any idea how much diabetes? Now she, will have to, now she will have to eat lean fish at least two times a week. Try tuna, salmon, mackerel, lake trout. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> that was Vicky Lakes. That was my drag name. Lake trout was my drag <laughs> name. Herring or sardines. So you're going to have to carry like candy on you at all times? No, it's the opposite. My sugars are too high. Oh, too high. So it's not like I get, I get, get loopy and I need, a ju I need a high C to bring myself yeah. up. It's the other way so around. Just, I got to feed, feed her grapes, blueberries, tomatoes, broccoli, and peppers. That's all I'm putting in your bowl, I swear. Well, Joey feeds me a dog bowl. <laughs> eggplant. This, this sounds fucking delicious. It's Mediterranean diet. I am the Mediterranean diet. I invented it. How? I'm going back. Do you know that? I but I also, it's tricky because I have high cholesterol, so I can't do. Let no, me say this. The Mediterranean diet is low cholesterol diet. The, if you are, if you haven't been to the doctor in a decade like me, go. Apparently, I was like, I feel great, doc. They're like, oh, well, your kidneys are great. Your liver is great. I'm like, shocking. They go, now I need you to take a seat for the next couple things. And that was <laughs> what it was. 
So, I'll also be announcing this on radio. I'm making my whole personality about pre-diabetes. Is there anything else on the sheet that sticks out to you? Also, this doctor might be a fucking scam artist. She gives me a pamphlet. I was like, can you write <laughs> shit down for me, please? We have great insurance here. I just need a new doctor. Now it's she a, will it's try, a faulty test. Now, she will try a poached fish <laughs> instead of bread and frying. You could ask your server to have your meals prepared with olive oil instead of butter. She read me for filth, the woman. She goes, fish. She always goes, how about a lake trout? <laughs> serving fish. Yeah. Now, Trish is serving fish on the Mediterranean diet. You have to eat chickpeas at least twice a day. Yep. I'm not going to do any of it. I'm oh, let Mediterranean it diet may also yeah. include red wine right? with your meal. One day. glass yeah. for women. I go, how long do I have, Doc? <laughs> now, now, this, now, this is where it gets tricky. I, I go, give it to me straight, Doc. How long do I have? This is where the lines are blurred, Trish. This is where the yeah. lines are blurred. The Mediterranean diet may also include red wine with your meal. One glass each per day for women and two glasses for a man. Now, how do you identify? For the word wine. I'm going to go about 1.5. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, so hold on. It's, they want me to have two glasses of wine a day? A woman can only have one glass of wine. I don't drink wine. Like, I mean, don't get me wrong. I'll drink wine. Well, I also don't. To. That's the thing. She's like, how much do you drink? I'm like, I don't. But what do you drink? You really tie it up. Well, on, I mean, I, I can drink a bottle of vodka on a Saturday if I'm going after it. But then also it's like, she's like, what do you eat? And it dawned on me. I know what you I, eat. You eat, you eat mm -hmm. tomato. No, um, what's the English one? English muffin sandwiches. What's the one thing that I eat? Five guys. Every single night. Five guys. No, no, no. It's a Bussy. sweet. Bussy, yes. <laughs> Diego, earmuffs. I eat a, I've eaten a pack of M&Ms every night for two years. And I was like, did I eat so many M&Ms that I gave myself diabetes? She's like, no, but she's like, you can't eat them anymore. So I was like, okay. Well, I can be sure we can find a sugar-free substitute. Like? I can make, a, I can make an M&M out of a chickpea. <laughs> <laughs> How crazy I can make a lentil. This? Should I make it my personality? You have to. Yeah, right? well, yeah, you have to. Should I walk around? I should get one of those little things like no, content, like like content Kim. Yeah. Content Kim had it. She was such a drama queen. She had the little the little thing on there. Yeah. Um, I am upset because I found out that the gym across the street from me that's supposed to open the temple gym. You got to work out. It's not open. It's just 2024. And I looked in the window the other day. The fucking, the walls aren't even up yet. So I was, I was banking on go, waiting to go to the gym until it opens. I have to find a more realistic approach. And now I don't, I don't think there's any, any gyms by my oh, house. I have a great idea for you. The and Monday night fitness I class. went to this thing on Monday. By the way, they's like, you won't be sore. I was like, okay, what? or you will be sore. Can you tell me what it is, where it is, and what it's all about? It's called Free Ad Outfit in Chelsea. It's a, a, gay, a gay establishment? Yes. Outfit? Yes. That, like, like, here's my outfit? Yes. Out <laughs> sir. And it's like... A watered down like CrossFit, but there's only six people in there. But it's like more for like beginners. So like they like that was a, that was a, that was gangbang, son. <laughs> <laughs> Were their pants on? Um, so only it's six people per class. Six people per class, and it's this guy who's like so good. Like I'm so intimidated by I don't know how to work out my lord. Now the upper body, I can assure you, there's no problem there. But is the it, lower is, body, is I don't it, know how to work out. Is it the silking queen that Vinny was in the backyard yes. with? <laughs> yes, it's the, it's the silk queen. But they do it every Monday night. I signed you up. Okay, this Monday? 7.30 p.m. That's late. I know. But you're going to get that. You're going to get that fucking bussy popping. You're going to have a shelf of an ass. These guys are so great. There's a dog in there. Oh, I'm going then. It's The dog is named Brooklyn. All of a sudden, I was doing a squat, and I go, I thought it was Diego behind me. <laughs> it was, it was the, I thought it was Diego on the hunt. It was the, it was, a, now it turns out it was a Labrador mix. Okay. <laughs> And it was like the cutest dog. It was really fun. And it was a good workout. Okay. Now, is it is this, you know what's- I'm it, trying to sell it so hard right now. Okay. I'm saying, what is the- Will you come with us to you? I would go. All what right. is the conditions of the place? Like, what is it- It's is beautiful. It, it's beautiful? Yes. What, is there, what amenities are there? <laughs> what are you, you're not there for the- When is you get in, you, you are working out for 50 minutes when you're there. But what if I, what, I, I pre I'm pre-diabetic as well. Oh, well then you bring out a juice box. Yeah, do you do different workouts now? Because you're pre-diabetic? I, th oh, look at that's sheet. a great point. You have your readers? It's on the second page. Workouts. Pre-diabetic care instructions. <laughs> How can I care for myself at home? Um, basically, you do like squats and you do some rows and you do some like ab stuff. But it's all Monday night is focused on legs. I need to build up my legs. I have skinny little bitch. Oh, I don't want to do legs. No, but it's like, well, that's what Monday is. But you well, can also do ones that do like your upper body I and stuff. I need upper body. My, my, my legs are great. But you don't want to squat? No, I want my, my gut and my titties to pop. So why don't we do- Oh, my gut gone and my titties to pop and I want my shoulders to be big. Well, why don't you unleash, unleash some of that free testosterone in your legs that'll help you build your upper body. I'll go to one class, but how, many, how much is it per class? It's 30 bucks. I'll pay for it. No, my treat to you. Um, I think, would you do one with me? Yes, I'll do one, but can we do one that involves chest and arms? Yeah, and I do have something to do. I did lie. I didn't sign you up. I was waiting to see your reaction, but now that your reaction was good- Well, you don't good, have my legal name. <laughs> <laughs> well, I actually signed him up with his dead name. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, they did? Can I say we might have to, we 
no, don't they're going to watch this. Um, but you, when you had to introduce yourself, you had to do your name and pronouns, which I know was very triggering for me. I know it would be triggering for old Nana. So, um, and you know, they take it serious there too. So I can't even like make a, a I can't even snicker. I was, <laughs> I was the fun, like no one, people were there to work out. I like cracked a joke. It was, I was like fucking Richard Pryor on stage. <laughs> what are the people gays like? Ate it you you normal, and five gays, who are the other gays? Normal and nice. Well, there's these two young queens who are a couple. Oh. Now, the young queens, I believe their names, bleep this, was no and something. Diego, do you have a stomachache? Oh, I'm going to talk about my stomach after this. And the one was a doctor. What, they were like normal people. It wasn't you found out like, the profession? People were like talking like in between sets because you do something, then well, you is rest. It, is every class only six people? Yes. That's the max? Yes. It's personalized, darling. Uh, well, so why don't we do it? Outfit. Outfit. Sign up. Me and Joe. Maybe we do a little... Do you go to the gym, Diego? No, I need to, though. I don't know if you do. I think you're you're embracing the, the twink. And and I, I think, think you that's start okay. wearing some more form-fitting <laughs> clothes to work. My, you know my I mean? roommate used to call me a twink. <laughs> you are a twink. <laughs> you re- you're like pr- definition of a twink. I almost said premium. Your definition of... Like he's a car. Uh, you're the definition of a twink. Who was your... Queen was your roommate. What closet queen was calling you a twig? <laughs> His name was James. Do I know her? James Charles. James Charles, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he slid in. He thought Diego was 12. Um, do you want Diego to change his wardrobe for you? No, I just think he's wearing more form-fitting clothing. Please stand up first, Diego. You, 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 yeah. you, you, use your youth while you have it. Don't cover it up. No, that's cool. How he's dressing is like the coolest thing. You think he's better in a bodysuit? He, he wears a cat suit. <laughs> <laughs> you can style me. Yeah, that would be great. Good, no, you have good style. You and Sam you Martin have the best style in the office. Oh, thank you. You have a cool hat, Cherry High Line. Now, what's that stand for? High uh, Line. Oh, it's, it's Miller. Yeah, no, no, no. It's a clothing brand, a California clothing brand. Shaw. Yo, yo, yo. yo that's based. <laughs> I have something for you. What do you mean? Okay. I don't know how we're going to work this out, but like, I can't. It's, it's burning a hole in my pocket, and I can't not give it to you. I got, I got you a Christmas present, but now I realize I can't wait till Christmas. Okay, I ha- I've. Is there, right, I wait till, no. Now this, I, I think it's gonna have to be a free gift. Maybe this is just one of your Christmas presents because then I have to get more. Yeah, I still I need to get you. I got you another one last night, which is like it may this, even trump the nice one because it's so simple and it's so you and it could be used as a prop. Well, this is part of your healing journey. You're okay. pre-diabetic. Now this is something I got you <laughs> that's gonna help you heal. It's gonna help you heal. Emotionally, it's get, emotionally, yeah. It's gonna be an emotional healing. It's going to be spiritual. Wait, go on, the gift. Give me the gift. I'm ready to accept the gift. Okay. Imagine so I, need his... you, I need you to be blindfolded for the first portion. Of I don't know if I'm comfortable with that. And I need you to put your headphones on so you can't hear. Are you being serious? Yes, put headphones on, close your eyes. These ones? Yes. All right. Do you know what it is? Yeah. Is it good? Everyone's known really since good. last night. I was on a group chat for, for freaking with out with your therapist, your doctor, the um, person, the queen from Outfit, and <laughs> all the people, all the people who who say they're my friends, were just taking okay, me so for I'm money. Say, so this gift is going to be spiritual. It's going to be just. I think it's the best gift that I could have gotten you, giving everything going on in your life. And um, this is nerve wracking, man. Okay, are your earmuffs on? I'm gonna be able to hear through these. Put your earmuffs on, and close your eyes. Don't open your eyes until until you get a sound in your head. Then you can open your eyes. Oh my God, I think I know what it is. I think I know what it is. No, you don't. You have no idea. If this is what I think it is, I'm going to fucking scream. Okay, so I'm going to talk about bass. Talk about it. Oh my God. So in the case of traveling, actress and model Shay Mitchell, who I'm obsessed with, is just like all of us, looking for ways to make travel a breeze with stylish um, solution wear, I would say, for travel. Um, a perfect luggage for fashionistas and they're fully functional. Base is thought of everything you could ever want in a piece of luggage. 360 degree gliding wheels, a cushion handle, built-in weight indicator, which is key because how, how many times have you got to think, yes. check your bag, and they're like, oh my God, you're two pounds over. So you have to open your bag in front of every one with the lines packing up behind you, pulling out your shoes, putting one shoe in your purse, one in your backpack. It's a nightmare with the built-in weight indicator. If you pick it up and the red light comes on, that means it's overweight. Um, I wish I had that for my, my, my for myself. <laughs> I was say. Uh, but then washable bags for your dirty clothes and all the interior pockets you need to keep organized. It's look, so easy. Look, if you need luggage, base is the luggage for you. If you want to get luggage, if you got a friend who's schlepping their stuff around every time they travel in some nasty, ratty old thing, 
get them base. It comes in multiple sizes and colors. And for shorter trips, the Weekender bag is super functional and even has a place to store your shoes separately. So they laid it out perfect. They thought of everything. I put my glassware under there. You know, when I was yeah. packing my desk up the other day, I um, had some, I had some like removable, some like really d delicate glassware. I, I wrapped them in socks, put them on that lower bottom. They didn't break. And the best thing is every piece is made to look better with miles. So you don't have to worry about it being in cargo or overhead. And also it has 30,000 five star reviews. So if you want. It's the best luggage I've ever had. It's the best. If you want the cushion handle is what really separates from the, the part. It feels luxurious. It glides through my bag. The, the, the weekender bag sits right on top of the, th of, of the, of the carry on. So you just zip, zippity doo dah through the thing. Everything glides together. Nothing's fallen off. It is luxury at its finest. Whether you're packing for a quick trip or looking to breeze through the security line, base has your personal items covered right now base is offering our listeners 15 percent off your first purchase by visiting base travel.com slash about go to base travel.com slash about for 15 percent off your first purchase that's b-e-i-s travel.com slash about it's the perfect gift for the holidays base luggage this is a gift from from me to you can i open no right. don't open until you hear the sound you ready with love ready Yes. Hey, Trish. Stop! Uh, holiday here. Stop! Um, uh, I knew it! Nana, which that's so <laughs> wonderful that your Nana has reached out to me uh, to kind of just chat with you for a few minutes. She told me that you had She's recently broken up with your boyfriend. After oh. I haven't watched this. I haven't watched it. But they're just different from from women. <laughs> Uh, we're we're more loyal. I loyal. Think they can. Uh, I haven't watched this. She's having a stroke. Maybe she not realize the consequences. You know, if she something was, like that happens. Look at the decor in the back. Uh, she will choose her words carefully. You know, can work on both sides. Sad. I'm sorry to hear that, but you know, uh, your nana didn't tell me how long y'all had been together. Or your ages, or anything. Um, I get to pay extra. Better to learn it now, honey. Honey, <laughs> saying vows and being tied to him, especially <laughs> if you have children. I had Paul Dean read because, him because you know he will be in your life forever. So make sure you choose the one that. that Look at the um, ring. Look at the ring. It's a cross. It's just right. I've always said, like he said, my, my, she had uh, a butter gummy. Not <laughs> fill the holes in Michael's head. <laughs> well, that's a good team, right? <laughs> but I hope things will look up for you. You know, it's a fixing to have a brand new year, and uh, there's no telling what God's got in store for you, honey. So that's keep right. Your head up, panties down, eyes open. Oh, okay. When you least expect it. Yeah. The right one will be there. Love and best dishes, honey. And Mary. Ah! <laughs> oh. Yes! That is the greatest fucking gift. The second you go, hey, y'all. When you go, you'll hear it in my head. I go, there is no fucking you thought way. It was Queen Santos? You I thought, it was, thought it was Santos or her. Yeah. Come here. That was the love best it, love fucking gift. <laughs> oh my fucking! Well, now my God. late mother passed, but this is my my real mother. My real mother. Holy shit! Hey Trish, and she goes. Now your Nana. Did she? She thought I was a girl, yeah, and yeah, you I were my grandfather. Yeah, yeah. Oh my God! Did you put on your on your feminine voice when you when you? Oh, well, you no, didn't I didn't talk to her. I typed it all in. I did it. Yeah, she. she oh. I just quit her around. I let the when I have cameos in my things. I let it her for at least six days. Oh my uh, god! Do a last minute like homework. She did. It, she did it within two hours. Love and best dishes, y'all. When she says, "Honey," <laughs> she goes, "Honey, it's better now that y'all have children. He'll um, be in your life." Oh my God! What and we a have her here today, Paula. Uh, I, I'm not even. I think my heart would stop if she walked in. The Can you imagine? She comes out from there. She's been blowing Diego. <laughs> She's <laughs> the I need more butter down here, y'all. Y'all have Crisco. Oh my fucking God! What so a Merry fucking Christmas. gift. That's one gift. I need to like, we need to like download that and fuck it. I need it on my phone. I have it. I'm gonna send it to you. Holy I have the other shit. gift. The other gift I can't. We can't physically show. Save it. I don't have it with me though.
All right. It hasn't arrived in the mail yet. I'm like, oh, I'm smitten, y'all. The fact that she ended it with love and best I, I wrote that. Y'all. I paid extra for that. Did you? Yes. <laughs> well, now I'm excited. Now I want to give you your gift and get another. That's why I thought you were bringing it here. No, I was. Well, I, oh. That's why I said your gift came. Let me give you. Let me just. I'm going to say three words that describe it. Elegant. Eleganza? Oh, no. I was going to know what Versatile. I know don't, what it is. don't, don't. If you think you know what it is, keep it to yourself. Did I, you give me extra candles for my Nora? No, no, no. Elegant, versatile, oh. and um, is it convertible vacuum from and, D- Dyson? And you, because any other word would give it away. If I did an actual description of it, you guys got to tune in for our Christmas special. We're gonna do Maybe our Christmas w- spooktacular. Will you wear your uh, the leotard? Yes, I'm gonna wear it with the because I've been wanting to wear that outfit. It's been hanging up. I know. And I already quaffed the wig. I already, I already changed the curl pattern. Okay, good, good. I really I already redirected the bang. And, and it's 360 lace. Is it easy to get out of? No. Okay. Perhaps that was a hint. We'll never know. Perhaps that was a Is it a body hint. stocking? It's a body. No, no, no. Is it skims? Oh, fuck. I'm on, listen, I'm just in heaven, y'all. Paula showed me what it Trish. means. Trish. She goes, I heard that your man went. Better to know it now, honey. I'm so glad you <laughs> that's, that's what my mom said. She goes, it's better, y'all. I'm so glad that you did that. Instead have of, a children with him. Instead of <laughs> <laughs> children. Because it'd be too emotional during the holidays? No, instead of George Santos. Like, this is Oh, yeah, times. that queen. We don't know her. We know Paula Jean. Do you guys know how many times I've just looked? Uh, I've almost pulled the trigger on a Paula Jean came. Was it 1000 bucks for Paula? She ain't come cheap, y'all. She ain't come cheap. No, um, but George Santos, she made $50,000 in one day. That's like almost a third of the money that he embezzled off a fake puppy scam, which yeah. is good. Well, I've learned, I first found out about her from The late Sweet Life of Zach and Cody. She was, she was an actress. Allegedly. There. The funniest part about We had to get her on. I would love that. The funniest part of the whole thing was when you said uh, it was a drag queen who was shading her, making up the lies. It definitely was. It was something from, from yesteryear, from Catania. What was her drag name? Oh, God, I don't know. What was George Santos' drag name? Catania. Catania. Did we say it? Yeah. yeah. I don't know. I think it was Catania. C- yeah. Something like okay. that. He has a tattoo of her. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, um, oh my god! I don't even know what else to say. The rest of the episode. I th- do we just end it? We do a no, seven minute episode. No, I think I'm, I, I went. <laughs> I went Lord. to a sports game last night. Thank you, Game Time app. By the way, we love Game Time. If you um, literally for after like they can do anything on Game Time. Can I do a plug real quick? Yeah, of course. Yeah, game, we love we love, love Game Time. So yeah. Game Time app. No, it's, it's, everyone thinks it's just for sports. No, Kelly Keegs and the other gaggle girls here. They all went to go see a Broadway play the other day. You can go like Broadway tickets. You can go like. But literally yeah. anything, anything that sells tickets, you can do on a game time app. And it's and last I, I minute. Literally, literally, Bay called me and goes, hey, do you, um, there's this basketball game tonight. Do you want to, um, it's at a massacre garden. We should go. I said, okay. He goes, let me look at tickets. I said, no, I'll get the tickets. So I went on game time app. I literally got them. And I tell you, this is a packed game. This was um, for the Jimmy V um, thing, who's, like a, who's a famous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, don't give cancer. up. Don't ever give up. He, Jimmy he died D. of cancer. Yep. Anyway. It was a big college game, the biggest of the year, they're saying, because they were in the playoffs last year, apparently. Okay. Anyway, I got them last minute, and I, knew, I wasn't sitting in nosebleeds. I'm talking about, like, I got tickets on the floor, not on the, on the floor, yeah. last minute for, like, literally cheaper than a ticket you would buy, buy like, when it first comes out. It was, like, and so we affordable. And links everywhere. If you want a link, like, go to anyone who works here. It's, well, just download the Dame Time app yeah. and use code STOOL um, when you create your account, and you'll get $20 off your first, um, first order. That's great. And you said they use it for Broadway plays. Broadway plays, anything with ticketing. I'm trying to go see Adele. Uh, yeah, that's okay, a now, tough I, ticket. I, I know they have tickets. I, I'm not sure. I'm sure. The, I'm sure there's not last minute. I don't know what, what, what the deal is, but those are hard tickets to get. But they even have Adele tickets on there. Is what I'm saying. I have a beef. Should I buy a Super Bowl ticket on there? Imagine. I don't have that kind of fun, coins. Well, not yet. You got to get rid of that fucking potato barn couch. I have a little bit of a beef with the people who went to a Broadway play. Because they saw Shucked on Broadway without you? There's a new... I was actually invited. I declined. I was having furniture delivered. There's a new... I keep my phone handy. Um, there's a new club that's been formed at Barstool Sports that Nana and Trish have once again been overlooked for, particularly Nana. It is the Finer Things Club. Now, if there's ever been a club that old Nana deserves to be a part of, it's that. They do fine things. They go to Broadway plays. They go to nice, Who? luxurious bars. It is... Kelly Keeks. Kelly Keeks. Gia? Gia? No. John Feidelberg, Trent, and Nate. Nate replaced you, I've heard. Well, Trent and I, well, Trent got that new apartment in the West Village, and so he broke up with me. <laughs> is, this yeah. what it was? is that what it was? I'd like She's to now be, an uptown girl. Would you like to be a part of the Finer Things Club with Barstool Sports? I would love to. 
I know that John Fellerberg has amazing, exquisite taste. I know that Kelly Keeks has exquisite taste. Now, Nate and Trent, I don't know about their tastes. You don't. If you had to guess. I would guess that Kelly Keeks and John Fellerberg's were more exquisite. Okay. Based on, based on what I know of, of my interactions with them. Trent, I don't know much about, but every, time, every interaction I've had with him has been They're the best. Lovely. Well, did you, you, know, did you uh, use a, a gender neutral term for her? For Trent? Yeah. Well, we don't know. Say they. Use they. they. Don't use she, Why her. Why is my phone so cold? I don't know. It's freezing. What is this background? It's a kaleidoscope. <laughs> <laughs> Perhaps you've seen. It's not as meet the ear. Yeah, I think that'll be fun. A Broadway play? I'm too physically large for a Broadway well, a bro play. No, I don't like Broadway plays. You know why? Here we go. Let me say something. They're never, they, I've never seen a Broadway play that blows me away. I think the, the closest one that ever blew Cats. me away. No, that sucked. Book the went to Winter Garden Theater. No, I never saw that one. My favorite play ever, or my, not play, my favorite musical ever was Hairspray on Broadway. The John Waters classic, Hairspray. You, I think that, that would be a very fun. good one for you, Hairspray. I'd like to see that. It's not on, it's not on anymore. Uh, I saw a few of them. I mean, unless dead? it really blows me away. No, God oh. forbid. Um, I don't like it because first of the seats suck. The I can't seats. physically fit. It's worse than like a Delta Airlines seat. Yeah, it's not because I'm wide and you're tall. So like right. you know, we're like the number ten when we stand next to each other. <laughs> you took the words right out of my mouth. Yeah, Diego's the ex Diego's the the exclamation, exclamation point. point. Yeah. yeah. Um, no, she's a semicolon. <laughs> um, she. Um, oh yeah, the seats are suck. The, um, the intermission, the drinks, like. There's no cup holders. It's just not a, a, no a, cup holders. Like it's just not like a comfortable setting to see a show. Like I want to see a show. I don't want to lay down, but I would like more. I, I think. I think I like. I know like how a Broadway. It's supposed to be like old Broadway and like have these like historic fucking theater houses and shit. Everything everything needs a little, a little makeover. You know. Yeah. Get the, get better chairs. I think especially it, those prices. Those Broadway prices. Are they expensive? I'm sure they are. I don't know. I Unless you use a game time app. I think. Um, I, had, I went to like two Broadway plays and I was like impressed while I was there. I was like, oh, this is cool. But I, it's not something that I would ever like seek out and do again. Do you know what I mean? Oh, I felt that way too. But then I saw Harry Potter with my dad and we took uh, like weed out of both. It was awesome. Was you and your dad? Yeah. Where are you from? New Jersey. New Jersey. Got I it. know you're from New Jersey. Yeah. Where? Morristown. I was born in Morristown. Did we not talk about this? No, we don't think we ever have. What are you talking about? I was born in Morristown and my whole family lives there. At, no. Yes. Actually? Yeah. It's not Morristown. They live in Morris County, Whippany, Madison. Oh. Um, all throughout there. But yeah, yeah. I, I was born in Morristown Memorial Hospital. Oh, wow. January 3rd. Three days before the big day. When's your birthday? February 7th. All right. We got to get him She's something. She's an Aquarian. Yeah, we got to get him something. Water sign. Yeah, no, I don't know. I don't think it's something I would ever seek out again. Broadway play. I mean, I would go. My problem is that I just don't. I would rather be somewhere with loud music where you can interact and converse. Yes. I have a tough time we went to, sitting. We went to, okay, I'm not gonna say, we're not going to call out where we were. You, you and talk. I got invited to a, um, a theater style venue. That's the only other time we were in a theater. Oh, fuck. And they that asked, they wanted shit. us to wear a mask inside. We were like, we were like, yeah, remember we went, we, we slugged two vodkas, we went over. They went, there was no alcohol in the event. It was some weird like ballerina shit. Yeah. But that was, that was, we actually left early. Yeah. And we went out to the car, and then we had a night, I think, was what it was. Yeah. Where My you... stomach hurts. I, that's what I want to talk about. I've, I've been eating, like, yesterday, I, like, I, 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 went on, I, went to, I went to MSG, but beforehand, can I just sh shout out a great local place? Yeah. I was so impressed with the food. I mean, it was bar food, but it, like, it was, like, I love bar food. very good bar food. Mustang Sally's across the street. Am I saying Harry's? You know, uh, it's Mustang Harry's across the street. Yeah, I've been yeah. I went there for a pre-game dinner. Yeah. We went there. I, Dude, food's great. The people there, like I said, because they've been doing it for years, I don't know how well how this machine is so well oiled. First of all, the place was packed from corner to corner. Every, every corner it's all was packed. It's all packed. like MSG pregame. Yeah, yeah, packed. But I walked right in, and they, go, they, they had a table right away. They whisked it to the table. Food came out piping hot. First thing, Mamitas there. Love. They came on me. So I, I was drinking Mamitas out there. The food there was so fucking good. Such good bar food. Such good staples. They also had like Irish classics. I had. You had the shepherd's pie. Now I had the clam toast. And it did, turned my pussy out. You? It turned me out. It was so good. Um, I had the, the wings were fa fabulous. The um, the fucking the prime rib sandwich, not prime rib. The um, ribeye sandwich was fucking Ooh. phenomenal. The food was so good there. The drinks come piping hot, but they had everything from like mamitas, canned cocktails to like um, like exquisite, like real fancy cocktails. What, they, it's so Christmassy in there. If you're in the area, in the Penn Station area, go over there. This is not a free ad. It was, it was honestly some of the best bar food I've had in a long time. Have you been to Corner Bistro? No, it sounds small in there. It's supposed to be pretty good downtown. What's going on with that machine? Yeah, talk uh, to us, Diego. This camera isn't working. It just randomly went that's off. That's why That's why that prima donna queen that works yeah. here, she brings her own camera. I oh, did. Vinny. I brought my own. I just didn't want to ask for another tripod. 
for them. So let's use this one. That was your nickname in middle school. Oh, so <laughs> <laughs> really quick, I'm just ordering my lunch. Hold okay, on. so that's my stomach's fucked up. So yesterday I had all that delicious bar food, but then I didn't stop there. Then I then I like closet eight. I told Bay I was going to the bathroom, but I really got a, hot, a spicy chicken sandwich. From where? From one of the, sh- the stores at uh, one of the, the the counters at MSG. That's probably what gave me the. Fu- I was thinking I've been eating a lot of that fast food. I'm sorry, I'm ordering my lunch right now. What are you ordering fast food? Time. What do you want? Is your mother Mediterranean flavored? Uh, it's kind of. It's Springbone Kitchen. It's like a chicken. It's like healthy. Well, let me. Can I tell you what you should order? Yeah, hold on one sec. The taste of summer never ends. No meat is tequila seltzer. I was zipping. I was uh, ch- chugging them down last night before the big game. It is so. I want a spicy margarita. I think we're part of a movement. I think is what it is, and it's the te- it's the year round tequila. Every movement. time I go to a restaurant or a bar and they it's, it's, I see it on the menu, I get so proud, like a, like a like a like a mother goose, <laughs> saying, "Oh my god, you have my meat!" Because I've been spreading the good word about meat is for many moons. Yeah, and the, you know, there's the cocktail pack, there's the paloma, the spicy marg, the regular marg. Personally, I'm going to be very honest with you guys. I you love, like lime. I like the tequila lime. I like it. It's simple. It's clean, it's crisp, it's delicious, and no matter the season, Joey and I are reaching for refreshing mamitas. The official day drink, day drinking drink of your friends. So like we said, the leaves are changing, but your drink of choice shouldn't be. Find mamitas near you at drinkmamitas.com or order on GoPuff. Drinkmamitas.com or order on GoPuff. And we always say it, if you get mamitas, tag me and Joey, we'll repost you. Make sure you check out some mamitas. So right now, as we speak, my potato bone couch is going to be delivered to my house, but I'm waiting. For the, I have minute by minute updates. Yeah. So what's the deal? Your couch is being delivered and then you you're trying to like hire people from here to bring it into your house. Yeah. Why? Because, because the delivery service that I have that's bringing the couch that I have, cause you have to like you have to get people to bring you your couch. Mm-hmm. Um, they don't. Like, they have me an estimate of like when they're going to arrive. So they arrive today sometime. But like, they don't tell you like when the truck's going to be there. Once the truck gets there, I have to like, have physically have someone there to, to bring, bring it upstairs. In. But That's I don't. Ha- I think I'm not. I'm not going to hire men to stand outside my house waiting for five hours for the man to come. I told you I'd do it. So then, once so once a guy gets there, like I can't be blocking up my lobby with these fucking with my huge fucking sectional. So I have to like have it there. Like you know, once it ha- once I get, like, hopefully they call me and give me like an hour update, and then I can go on test grab it and like hire the men or or gaggle the guys from here. You get gaggle guys from here. You pay them. That's the way to do it. You yeah, know, you spread the wealth, and you get that's how you get people on your side. Speak about spreading the wealth. Shout out to everyone who bought uh, uh, Surviving Bar School. I know. 100,000 100, buys. We made a million dollars. And counting. That, and, is, and that show's a million dollar show. Easily. And there's still one, two, three, four. There's still what? Four episodes left? Yeah, there's four. It's like, it is so. It was so, phenomenal last night. How about night. Rico and Will, uh, Will Compton? Team game, Juice Head. And he yelled at, <laughs> Rico is like an absolute He's star. He's an all-star. Yes. I would have I loved to be on that show. It was, it was intimidating, though. You would have been good on that, because I, I was saying earlier, I've been watching every single episode, and I, like, I'm addicted. The, the, everyone commits to the roles there. So, not the roles, commits to their. You would hate it, I think. No, I wouldn't, it wouldn't be for me, but everyone's a villain in a way, because like I'm learning so much about Survivor. Everyone's a villain, and it's like, you know, you, about, can't, you, know, you can't trust your sisters. How about John just not playing? Yeah. At the end? He's like, what do you mean? He's like, people talk about who they're going to vote for. <laughs> he was like, he's like, I just. Yeah. John's I'm the most just, disconnected one there. Oh, he's the best. It's the best. He has a shirt that says hire. Hire Jeff D. Lowe. Jeff Lowe. <laughs> fire Jeff D. Lowe. Check um, that it's out. It's a great show. If you haven't watched it yet, um, go to barstool.tv and check it bucks. out right now. It's 10 bucks, nine ninety nine. It's not 10 bucks. Why don't we do another? Would you do another reality show with me? I would, but I think we'd. Have, I think reality shows we have to do inside the office, inside the house. From yeah, now we on. don't want to travel. Remember no. the nightmare that was surviving uh, or Barcelona. That one America? was all. That series was awesome, though. It Barcelona wasn't a nightmare. America. It was yeah, a production. Yeah, yeah. The production was, the was very one. well run. It was like very well run. It was just you know a nightmare because you had to sleep on those silly buses. Yeah, it was like two besides weeks Dana of, screwing you. It was yeah. Well, I like to get screwed by Dana Beers. <laughs> it was uh, yeah. Dana really did screw <laughs> me over on that. That was fun. It was just a lot of like RV time. I was thinking we should do more like we should go places. Me and you. I said. I said out and like, about adventures. I said my it. thing is I want to do this, and I feel like if I'm like, why don't we go here? We'll get a car and drive. You're like, absolutely not. I need to fly first class, and I well, need to fly first class. But I'm saying if uh, we let's do places that we can get. But if we drivers. do a trip like in a car, then we can like make content. Yeah, you vlog the, the whole thing. Yeah, we vlog. It's a vl- yeah. We can get the whole a car. Point of it is what? to fucking yeah. vlog the trip. Oh look, we're on a road trip. It's funny. We're driving. Yeah, but road trip? Hours. How long of a road trip? Uh, 10, 11 hours. Why would we need to do that? To vlog to make the vlog. You could fly out west and then drive when you're there. So you're doing best of both. I mean, we should vlog our. I need to. That reminds me. I need to plan our uh, live tour. I need to start reaching out to clubs. Do we ever get um, a sponsor? They're working on it. Do, are they really? Did they reply back yeah. to the email. I didn't see a reply. Yeah, yeah. No, they didn't. But we'll see what happens. We're going, regardless. But I think we should do a road trip, Joey. I think we. I think it starts with our our outfit. 
and I think it ends at the Willow Tree. Maybe it ends at Paula Deen's Manor. Maybe it ends uh, at, the, at the Lady and Sons. Maybe at the, at the, the Lady restaurant. and Sons. What's the place, the uh, hair salon out in the Midwest that we called? Remember that? Bella La Femme. Be- you re- Bella La Femme. You remember? It's on the tip Debbie. of your tongue. Bella La Femme. Debbie. Bella La Femme. I like Femme. the hot tools. I like the hot tools, y'all. Yeah, so, you know, I don't know what else I can say on this show, honestly, Joey. Carry me, carry me away. I'm I want to show you gift something. Next week. Diego, what do you have to say? Um, Are you happy with your life at this moment? I think, yeah, I think I'm happier than Where I was do you before. Live? New Jersey. So you're still in Jersey. Mm-hmm. I live with my parents. Genius. I hope to move do in they have soon. A room? <laughs> I'm, like, I'm <laughs> going to get out of my place. I want to move in soon. I just, I'm not technically full time yet, so. Got it. Well, you're on do the you, fast track, dear. Well, I'm not kidding. What? That's my that's my toxic trait. What? Trying to hire anyone to work for me personally. Yeah. Like I literally, I, like I try. Probably, like, don't do it. <laughs> to hire, maybe a couch. You're good to move. No, in. no, no, no. The couch. I need like someone to run to help run my day to day life. You do? Yes. Like you a manager? Oh, if, I, if I had an assistant, they'd be at my apartment right now. I wouldn't be worried. They can. They, they'd be in communication with the people, and then they would know like when to call the call the task rabbits to hire them. And they just, I need a, I need a life manager. Oh, they I can, have someone who can work for you. Who? Uh, Google Calendar. It's free. <laughs> you just put things in, and then it tells you when you're supposed to do things. No, I need people. I need I've physical heard of her. people there to do you things. You need AI. I need a physical person. Um, I need someone to take um, to fold the sheets. The Mike ladies aren't there today. They take the sheets out of the dryer. That's what that's how about, that's what's going on in my house right now. Well, I, oh it my sounds God, like you have a really tough life. Wait, can I send you a picture? <laughs> yeah. Um, to who? Me and Diego? No. Did you see my greenery? My greenery spray over the mirror? Yeah, I did. What do you mean? Yeah, you did. I saw it. Show it to the camera. Oh my God. What I do you mean? Oh my God. It. It's just he was gooning over this. At the, can I turn your brightness up? Yeah, it was te- te- text to Diego. Yeah, you texted to make him put it on the screen. Oh, he put it on the screen. Did you airdrop? Yeah. I mean, yeah. Even, even in post, if you just send me the picture, it'll be up on the screen. Okay. So, yeah. I mean, that's something that you were going over all yesterday. What don't you like about it? I love it all. My I just entryway? think it's a little bit. A little bit what? Chic? A little basic. It's not done yet. There's okay. lights that go on it. Yeah. No, there's not. I'm not doing lights. This is not just one corner of the home, of the property. Okay. My tr- I have a tree in my bedroom. You do? I have a Christmas tree in my bedroom and a Christmas tree. They're both real? No, they're fo- they're foe. Fo- they're foe. Yeah. Um, I also changed out, just so everyone knows, I did change out my lights and my wreath from cool tone to warm tone. Good. Um, and I'm planning my I'm planning my um my Christmas Eve dinner. Do you want to hear what's on the menu so far? Yes. Now I'm trying to get I'm trying to get Joe's stone not trying to get Joe's stone crab or stone crab um from Florida. I want to get flown in for New Year's Eve, Christmas Eve. It's very expensive. Okay. Like if I want to serve twelve people, stone crab ever that's like two to three. That's like two piece crabs per person. Why don't you just thirteen hundred dollars? Why don't you go find some crab out in uh, out in Manhattan Bay? No, I need stone oh, crab. It's very, it's very chic, and the colors are exquisite. Can you pull up stone crab? Mm-hmm. What do you see? Stone. When you have had real stone crab with the mayonnaise sauce with the Louis. I was oh, Louis. I can't eat mayonnaise anymore. Well, you can. You can it's I one can't day. eat butter, y'all. Love and best dishes, well, y'all. Look how pretty the claws are. Click a claw. Oh, it's gorgeous. Are they stunning? Oh, that's I've had that. It's, it's, a, it's a Florida thing. So Joe's Stone Crab, it's just so expensive. It's so like lobster. Out. I was going to say, I had that at fucking Red it's Lobster. It's more expensive than lobster. <laughs> stone crabs are more expensive than lobster. Are they? Yes. So I tried to have them um, to work, do an influencer deal with them. They um, they politely declined. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so I'm going to call, let's call Poppy now and see if you can call get Call your it. father? Yeah. yeah. Go ahead. Call dad. I'm going to see if she's going to say, no, I can't get that. She's gonna she's gonna yell at me. Watch. Hello. Hi, Poppy. I'm calling in a record line. Don't say anything bad. <laughs> what? What's up? Listen. Can you call our distributor at work and find out? I need to get. I want to get stone crabs for Christmas Eve. Stone crabs. Yeah. Okay. They're really expensive. They they want thirteen hundred dollars. My guy. For to to feed like twelve people, I need to. I need a better price. How much stone crabs do we need? I don't know. I want enough for everyone. I want to have at least those, those, those stone crabs, those, the other ones that they use in Florida. That stone yes. Crabs. Okay. So I write it down. I, mean, I don't care if it falls off a truck. I don't care if we have to, you know, go to the cartel down there in Miami and get them. <laughs> oh my god! But no, can you find out from a, like from a shady like restaurant guy? Can they fall off the truck somewhere? An Italian. We need them from an Italian. 
Yeah, we, uh, we need a, we need a, a discount. I'm not paying thirteen hundred dollars. Gendaloon, Guinea, Wah, Guido. Sun's restaurant's open today. I know. What's the name of the restaurant? Shout it out. It's um. He can't pronounce it. Let me see. Hold on. Sorry. Hold on. Poppy, are you wearing your ladies' laundry? Ladies' on laundry right now? Of course. I'm wearing my new bearskin jock. Sorry, you sent me. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. I I sent her a jock strap. <laughs> to lift your spirits. <laughs> the bear one. This is bear. Bear skin jock check. That's what Poppy wears. It's always tough around the holidays. Oh, it's called this. Okay, it's called uh, <laughs> Papuda. It's P A F F U T O in South Philly. Look, it's for fat people. <laughs> Wait, which one is Poppy? That's her. <laughs> Do you hear it? Yeah, what is it called, the restaurant? P A F F U T O in South Philly. Pafudo, South Philly. Check it out. My Poppy's Poppy's uh, little sister Jake opened Leffler. it. Jake Leffler opened it. Now, who sent you this? I didn't send you this bearskin jock shop, did I? Someone did. I don't know who it came from. What do you, what do you mean? <laughs> Was it from the woman, the, the the queen you're selling your underwear to? I don't know where it came from. I thought you sent it. Uh huh. All right. So get, try to find someone crypts today. If you don't find them, I have to, I have to arrange it because they're going fast. All right. And if and, like, and also, he's right, going bye bye. He's trying to get on the phone. <laughs> Diego's, Diego's furiously scrolling. Look at that! Look at that! Look at the uh, protective I thing with the, with the penal uh, thing. That's like the nipples for the. Oh. Should we buy that? How much is that? For sweatpants. I mean, three, three bucks. bucks. On Shein, does it come in multiple 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 skin tones? I saw some queen walking around the gym yesterday in a literal jock strap. I was like, "What are you doing?" Dude? In the gym? Yeah. I was like, "You're not even like." Be more obvious. Well, you go to, the, to you go to Equinox in the West Village. That's literally a bathhouse. <laughs> it's not a bathhouse. It's not not a bathhouse. Well, listen to each their own. I, Diego was just furiously scrolling. I've never seen these before. <laughs> Diego goes, I'm more of an Andrew Christensen type of guy. <laughs> yeah. Diego's, Diego's a pump queen. Yeah. Do you wear um, slutty underwear or no? No. <laughs> <laughs> Diego wears boxers with holes with holes in them. No, I wear briefs. I don't wear boxers. Regular regular tidy whities No, no, like Calvin Klein, like briefs. That's what I'm wearing right today. Do you want to see them? <laughs> oh, oh, Joey's in a pump jock. Oh my god! We might, we might be mad. Oh no, I have like Nike briefs on. Are they short? Like, are they like high cut? No. Oh my god, Joey! <laughs> Stop putting your fucking ass away. Wait. <laughs> now speaking of viral loads, I'm a viral queen again. Yeah. Yeah. Rudy, 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 Ruth Junda and I. Can you want to pull up Barstool Sports in oh um, god, TikTok, yeah. Twitter, Twitter? I, I, I retweeted I it on mine. And my now, there it is. Fine. There it now is. I. Who's now, this, this is many moons ago. This is when I was overweight. Um, <laughs> <laughs> this video had this me back dying in on the train Tuesday. this morning. This is T-Shot Tuesday. Rudy looked great, now, I'm, huh? am I, I'm going to my endocrinologist, so I'm going to be start, starting back up. Yeah. Oh, good for you, Joe. This went re-viral. They just found it. Funny how they find it six months after it goes viral. Here we go. After we didn't have a sponsored tour. Yeah, go on YouTube if you need to <laughs> Go on YouTube and watch if you're listening in the car. This is a double feature because you want to see the Paula Dean as well. This is Rudy giving Judy giving Judy a tee shot. This is, look how tan I was. Rudy looks skinny there, huh? He does. Right? Maybe it's just because when he has long hair. Maybe he looks... he's standing next to a mammoth beast getting poked. <laughs> <laughs> Do you ever think you'd have to see Rudy, Sandra's voice? Rudy Junda behind you on all four on, on, on his knees about to s slam you in the ass? <laughs> his face a girl can end. dream. Now, I forgot the needle's re retractable. His face is so good. He thinks the needle fell off in him. <laughs> Look at his face. He goes, it's gone. There's no needle. There's no needle. <laughs> that was fun, doing testosterone I'm going to sell that needle to the highest bidder. I could probably use yours for my insulin after. I'll be really upset if you have to take insulin pills. I know. I start taking injectables as well. Oh, yeah. Did she come as an injectable queen? Should I? A stunt. I love when they call George Santos a stunt queen. She is a stunt queen. When, now, what is the likelihood of her coming on? Should we call Jordan Berry on the hotline? Yeah, I'll call her right now. Call her right now and say what, what from from like zero to one, zero to ten. What is the likelihood we can get her on the podcast this week? Tell who Jordan Berry is while I look her up. Tell her who she is, or tell the people. Oh, I thought she didn't know who she was. Oh yeah, yeah. Jordan Berry is one of our talent bookers here. She gets she's the one she's who gets the all best. the talent for us, all the uh, celebrities. Okay, we're gonna call right now. Should I call Jordan or Kelly? Should I go call to Kelly? Kelly's more unhinged. Should I go to Jordan the, will be too polite. Should I Kelly go will tell us to go fuck ourselves. Kelly is like the boss of the boss of the boss. Yeah, she's the biggest. She's the biggest talent queen. She's expecting Kelly talent bar stool. Here we go. Ke Ke I love Kelly because she doesn't take any. And then I'm gonna call live event Larry just see if she can be Super Bowl. Did you prank calls all this is our show? Mm -hmm.
If you suffer from symptoms of ADHD, lack of focus, no productivity, your brain is constantly wandering, you need to check out Proper Wild's clean all day energy shots. Proper Wild uses organic caffeine stacked with L-theanine, which has clinically been shown to boost your energy, focus, and productivity without the jitters or crash. That's right, there's no preservatives, no artificial sweeteners, no horrible chemicals, just natural tasting energy shot with clean ingredients that work. Now, I don't like to feel jittery. Nope. I take enough pills for myself to keep myself jittery. <laughs> I like this because it's energy shot. Like, you know, a cup of coffee is one thing. This gives you like clean energy. You never get a crash with it. Um, it tastes delicious. It's, a, and, and, you know, a lot of times you have to drink those whole energy drinks and you get bloated and full because it's a yeah. carbonated and it's big. This loaded is loaded with like, sugar. There's yeah, none of that. Yeah, this is one tiny shot. It's, 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 I would say it's like, you know, concentrated, I guess, in a way. You just drink one tiny shot. You're not filling up with all this liquid and you get the energy you need. You feel great and you have, uh, you know, it's the best. I would describe it as light. It's light. Light and lively. Light and lively. There's no bloat. There's no sugar. There's no grossness. It's just going to help you be focused. It's going to not make you jittery. And also, I think that sometimes people can get like a little scared of energy shots I am scared of most I am scared <laughs> I'm scared of most energy because you drink you, when I first started you were drinking those cans of like really strong stuff that like really make you like feel crazy and this crazy. is a thousand times better so much better, clean energy, and it's it's just it's, don't, it's nothing to be afraid of here. It just really gives you the, the pick me up you need. Take it from Nana and Trish. Try Proper Wilds. Go to properwild.com slash barstool. We're giving you guys thirty percent off. Oh my god, it's already affordable. The perfect stocking stuffer. Yeah, that's exactly the they're perfect stocking, stocking stuffer stuff. sized. Properwild.com slash barstool to try Proper Wild for thirty percent off. Love and best dishes, y'all. I'm in the control room. Hey, Queen, you're. Uh, oh, can you hear us? You're on our show right now. We had a question. We had a question for you. Let me step out because you could probably hear this interview. Behind. Who's it? Why is who else has interviews? Bring a celebrity in here to get interviewed. <laughs> let Sorry, me know, what's up? Let me know when you're ready. What are the what's the likelihood of us getting George Santos on the show? I One to ten. Been here before. Um, what do you guys want to talk to him about? About his. The, the, we want to talk about all the drama. I want her to finally come out of the closet on the show. <laughs> um, talk about all the allegations. Talk about how she made fifty thousand dollars on. Cameo, like she's just hot right now. Talk about her her past as a stunt Look, queen. I mean, we can shoot her a shot. Why not? Her no, seriously. Part. And how's Gypsy Rose coming along? Oh my god, <laughs> guys, are we being serious right now? I'm not. I'm, I'm, not, I'm being awkward. serious. If, I mean, if we could, I mean, those are like I know big asks. I know we can't get Gypsy Rose, but I definitely think we can get George Santos back in here. Oh, Georgie Porgy, sure. <laughs> Kelly, I love you. Thank you so much. Love you more. Bye. Okay, so she well, didn't say no. That was I read between the lines. It seems unlikely. Yeah. <laughs> but we're gonna we're gonna try. Now I think we can get George in. I would love him to come out of the closet. Maybe we buy a George Santos cameo? How much is he charging? No, I don't want her. I don't want to give him money. Gays do not support gays. That's a very important note, Diego. Yeah. Noted. Learn that now. Learn learn it learn it now, learn it often. Okay. Noted. Now and often. Your what life else? How long have we been going for? Uh forty five. Good lord. I'm faded. You know what it is? I think it's I think my A one C is down. Are you, are you having a sugar spike? I think I'm having a spike. Wait, do you have a piece of candy? Are we have to- <laughs> so I don't have a sucker. <laughs> and do, I have- see, do I see kids now have to keep hard candy in her drawer? <laughs> and we have a hard candy and I chew it like this. When I get it to get the sugar, I need a high C. I need a Capri Sun. I need a Kool-Aid, maybe a Jello, kind of spike the sugar. I'm so, I think I'm really, oh my God, I can't even form words right now. Is it one of these things where like you think you have something then you get in your own head and it like becomes worse? What is that called? Like micro? Psychosomatic. Or that, yeah. Maybe. Micro, you're like, that's definitely not that. <laughs> Where'd you go to college, Diego? Trinity College. Very nice. In Hartford. Small Hartford, school. Connecticut. Small school. Hartford, Connecticut. Trinity College. Small school. Hartford, Connecticut. Very interesting. Yeah, Can my you... roommate had diabetes, and we used to steal all of his candy. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> go in his so room and she's no stranger. This is, the one, this is the one who called you a twig? No, no, no. That's a different one. What was this? What was this diabetes queen's name? Uh, Brooks. He is like a genius. He starts his own company, Recruit.io. He, or Recruit You is what it's called. That's oh, my father. Is he looking for? Papa's calling. He's got an update. Talk to me. Uh, so it's uh, forty six ninety five a pound, and you get four to five pieces a pound for the good ones. Okay, so then that's a better, much better deal. So if you get four pieces. And it's cost forty six ninety five for four pieces. So how many? We need, I want two claws per person. How many people are we having? Well, I mean, I have, I have to see how many people we're having. We're having like twelve or four, twelve to fourteen. Okay, so Diego, so do this math. What is so what is? Yeah, two people a pound. So two people a pound. So 
So each per so. So how many pounds do we need, Diego? You went to college. All right, I'm There's a film 12, studies major. Twelve people. Twenty four pounds. Twelve people. How much is it per pound? Twelve times two. Twenty four pounds. So we need twenty four pounds. That no. you don't. No, two pound. You need a. You get four pieces to a pound, so you got two people for forty six. Each so per, six each pounds. Two people eight pounds. Forty six. That's each person. Don't put me thinking 20, about math over this. Twenty five dollars, like twenty four dollars <laughs> each for two pieces. It's twelve dollars. Twelve dollars a piece. Twelve dollars a person. A piece. It's, no, twelve dollars a, a. A claw. Plus twenty four dollars a person. So it's what's twenty four times twelve. <sighs> twenty four. Oh, sorry. Six hundred bucks. 24 Dude, times 12. Dude, is it longhand? 288. Wait, that's a can't be right. No. <laughs> 24 times 12 is like 600 bucks, right? 288. 288? All right, 300 bucks. No, it's not. It's only $300? Yeah, 24. This you is enthralling pieces, uh, stuff we're doing 24 here. Do $24 a piece. Okay, so $300. $300. Yeah, that's two a piece. All right, I'm, I'm, getting, I'm asking out Paula for the money. All right, bye. All right, bye. Okay, so we're getting stone crab. I love that. Maybe How easy could, was that? Maybe you can prepare some for our Christmas show. What Christmas show? Our Christmas show that we're doing here. We're doing one here? Yeah. What are you going to wear? A reindeer costume? Can you be, should you be an S&M reindeer? An S&M reindeer? But the Rudolph, instead of the nose, it's a, it's a ball gag. Done. <laughs> Absolutely. Yes, of course. I'd, uh, yes, of course I'll be an S&M reindeer. Will you put this, will you put the butt plug with the reindeer tail in it? <laughs> yes, I'll, of course, I'll have to get out of storage and I'll have to put it on. We used to, Diego, this is, this is some history for you. We used to have a, a vibrating butt plug, a remote control vibrating butt plug. And we used to have, one of us had to wear it every episode and then we'd have to guess, we'd have someone outside and buzz and we had to guess who was being buzzed. <laughs> no Are way. Are you comfortable participating? Sure. Have you ever played with your butt? <laughs> <laughs> no. No. <laughs> you well, I have you on the subject. <laughs> Anywho, this has been lovely. This has been lovely. Everyone, um, what are you up to this weekend? It's SantaCon in the city. My parents are coming to town. For SantaCon? For SantaCon, yeah. My mother <laughs> does. Now, my mother. Now my Explain what SantaCon is. And it's such, we should pull video. Could we pull videos of SantaCon? It's this weekend. It terrorizes New York City. It's my yeah, first it's, time going this year. Oh, you're going. Oh, you're going. Uh, you know, all, all the college go kids are going. Now I have I a lot of friends in my life that, of their age that are going to that show. Should I tell my parents not to come now because it's going to be too crazy? It's going to be nuts. Now, the pattern this year, you can, get you can get charged if you're drinking in public. Boo. Um, basically, boo. SantaCon is. Explain what it is, Diego. Uh, it's just like a bar Everyone crawl. dresses up as Santa and you go on a bar crawl in the city. But since they start early in the morning. Yeah, it starts at like 12. And there's, like a, there's a bar that a lot of bars have signs up that says do not participate. If you're dressed as Santa, you can't come in because they don't want that shit show there. Yeah. Yeah. And, it, and when I say it's like it is, we're showing a video right now, it is crazy how many people do this. And you see the videos that go viral every year around like 4 p.m. There are drunk Santas stumbling all over. But if you're a col college-aged uh, person... I mean, this I, is for you. I gotta say, you know, you know Nana is nothing more than a drunk uh, college guy in a, in a costume. Uh, that's the truth. <laughs> a co-ed, a co-ed in a, a costume. Co a drunk co-ed in a costume. Do you know what I mean? This it's is like, your super. Like SantaCon the, the, is your Super Bowl. Yeah, I mean they they just like look at the boys. How hot! Oh my god! Should we do Sam? Do you want to do Man on the Street for SantaCon? I don't. I don't know. I, I, if I was single, if I was single, yes. I don't think I'll be able to handle myself. What do you mean? What are you afraid is going to happen? I'm going to. You're going to get Nana's going to get handsy. I'm going to get handsy with old Rudolph. Okay. Well, once again, this has been lovely. Um, thank you to Diego. Thank you to Paula Dean. And thank you to, to the late George Santos. George Santos and our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Love and best dishes, y'all. Bye.